All right. This is tough. How did you guys do this? It's very hard. It's very hard. Very painful. Very painful to judge. It's more pain than you do, believe me. All right. Now, if I call you as a, as a top ten finalist, I would like to invite you to step forward, walk downstage, stagecraft. Uh, and uh, if you don't get called, we'll ask you to exit stage wherever you came from. Okay. <laughs> we begin. Our first top ten finalist. Mandy, Sonia, Kyle, and David, the Great Common Crew! <laughs> Take a step downstage. Walk downstage. Very good. This is downstage. Walk up to me. Fine. Whatever. Yeah. Right. I like friends. Next up. Oh, this is good. Mary, Mary Ellen and Rob, that's Phoebe and Henry Dice with! <laughs> Fantastic. Congratulations. Oh, this is so specific. Playing Rumble Teaser, Carbuckety, Jemima and Grisabella, it's the Cats Clan! <laughs> this is freaking hilarious. <laughs> uh, let's welcome... Marty? Party! <laughs> Glinda with the Glinda Puppet! Where are you, babe? There she is. Did I say that? What's, what's your name, my love? Marty, fantastic. Well done, Marty. Caitlin and Barbara, Wednesday, Grandma Adams! Come on down. Yeah, now here's the interesting thing. <laughs> if you open up, if you actually open up your Broadway Club program in the back, there is an, there's an entire section about how you may or may not keep your crossbow while you're here. <laughs> Which is hilarious that we actually have one. Is it, has it met all the requirements? <laughs> Wonderful, I like our talks. Okay. <laughs> Pulp Tony Phil, Dina! Tell this one, I don't care. Good job. She's the butt of the ball, taking the prom out of Tammy Holbrook, Carrie White! <laughs> and let's bring out Simba, 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 and Sazu! The Simbets! And Sterling, our playbill goddess! You just heard her on an incredible clarinet solo. Get down here, Squidward! Rachel Robertson. These are top ten finalists for cosplay! You are all winners, you're all fantastic. Make your way off stage left over there. Give them a huge round of applause for all these incredible cosplayers who have worked so hard to make these incredible, incredible cosplay outfits. To, uh, Sterling. Sterling is our Playbill goddess. Um, well, I wanted to make you this because this is actually made of Playbills. Oh, there's me! Yeah, oh, I'm so excited. You win. Okay. Um, tell me what goes into making this. I'm not a judge. Um, so I decided, and my lovely mother is the one who made it. She's my best friend in the whole world. And she, um, and she made this for me, and she took her over 60 hours. Where is your mother? Where is she? Come on, Mark. Come here, woman. Come right here. You made this in 60 hours. Come stand next to your daughter on this stage. You can come on, mama. Come, you, come get up here. I don't know how we're going to make this happen. Our insurance is terrible. Uh, go around the back. Go around the back. Someone's going to help you over there. Okay, great. Uh, how do you guys feel? Good. Did you see this coming? <laughs> <laughs> you were hoping. She was like, we had this on lock, please. All right, uh, let's go to Carrie White. Tell me the inspiration. How did you come to Carrie in her cosplay fashion show planning? Well, I've always loved Carrie the musical, and I want to do a cosplay that would be a little different. So I thought Carrie would be absolutely perfect. Yeah, I think you're right. <laughs> Grandma Adams. 
What's in your hand? My friend! I shrunk her head! Will you, ju will you just say my friend again? My friend! Thank you, I'm kidding. <laughs> Alright, let's do it. Everyone take a step back, please. Now, here's what's going to happen. All on Miss America style, I'm going to ask each of you to come downstage. You're going to reach your hand into my bowl. Hashtag my bowl. Draw out a question that a famous Broadway celebrity has, has wanted to ask of you. Shall we start here? On the end? Fantastic, great comic clerk crew. Great, right. step down. All right, now this is gonna be a group effort, isn't it? All right, reach your hand in the bowl. And don't forget, you are, you are to answer your questions for our judging panel in character. This question comes from Patty LaPone. Send us pizza, Patty! Thank you. Oh, gee. Patty LaPone asks, what is your favorite Broadway musical? Remember, you must answer in character. Well, uh, I managed to see a wonderful tour of The Phantom of the Opera while it toured in Moscow just recently. I love the Moscow production. <laughs> How about you, Pierre? Uh, when, I'm not, when I'm not drinking, I'm drinking. <laughs> Drinking water, of course, I stay very hydrated. Um, you know, I enjoy my own production. I think Great Comic is absolutely fantastic. That'll do nicely. Give it up for the Great Comic crew, everyone. <laughs> Dice Quiz! <laughs> Dice Quiz, come for joining us now. Yeah. Look at our judges dutifully noting. Put your hand in the hole. This question comes to us. Hugh Jackman. That's all it takes, it's so easy. Hugh Jackman. Okay, I'll settle. Hugh Jackman has a question. Dice Quiz, if you were an animal, what animal would you be? Would you be? And why? Henry Dice Quiz? You want to go first? Great. Because they're tiny and shy and dainty. Aww. Dare you. <laughs> <laughs> and what would you be? I think I would be a zion. Tell us why, Henry. Zions are such manly animals. What do you think with other men together? Such. <laughs> you just said thinking of all those men together. Well done. Congratulations. Well done. Thank you, Dice Quiz. Cats, please! Cats to center stage! Put your hand in the bowl. Look at these cat hands, well done. Paws, I'm so sorry. Only in this room. They're paws, damn it. Weirdo. Okay, Tommy Toon has a question for you, cats. Card Buckley, Jemima, Rizabella. <laughs> Where do you see yourselves ten years from now? <laughs> Tommy Toon wants to know. Down the ball in ten years. Down the ball, solid. Angelica Moon. Hopefully in the heavy side layer. Yeah. Work. I already made it to the heavy side layer. <laughs> well done to the cats. Well done. Well done. Queen. Queen. Marty! <laughs> This is sensational. Marty, put your hand on the bowl. Oh, there you go. All right, Marty. Your question is coming from Lynn Manuel Miranda. Who? Uh, Lynn Manuel Miranda asks the both of you, Glinda, if you won the lottery, what would you do with your winnings? I would use my winnings to help people that are less fortunate than I. Because who isn't less fortunate than I? Absolutely. I did not enter this contest to win. 
in, and I don't care if I win. I wanted to demonstrate that you can be 59 and overweight and possible. <laughs> It's now Marty Khan. <laughs> Wednesday, Grandma Adams to center stage, please. And Grandma's friend, put your hand in my bowl. You are. Thank you very much. Excellent choice. This question comes to us from Ben Platt. <laughs> Grandma likes Ben Platt. <laughs> ben Platt gets Grandma going. His question is, is there a song lyric that you feel best represents you, and why? What's that one where the guys are naked? Michael? No, I don't know. Do you know what it means? No. What do you mean that song? The full The full yeah, one? Yeah, she knows it. She gets it. You want some lecture? Like <laughs> it's getting weird. What's that? I'm friends with all my demons. I believe you. Please step back. Give it up for Wednesday and Grandma. It's here. Welcome to Tony Phil. Come down here. How well can you see? As I bring you downstage, possibly to your end. Okay. Oh. You're monsters. Okay. Home Satani. Phil. Your question comes from Liza Manelli. So easy. It's a shout out name. Okay. Liza Manelli wants to know if you were granted three wishes, what would you wish for? Don't know where to put this. I don't know. Oh. Does this work? <laughs> okay. Use your time, friend Phil. First of all, I'd like to keep my powers of being able to predict whether it will be rain or winter and for how long. Second, I hope that Phil doesn't keep repeating this day because it never ends well for me. <laughs> it really just doesn't. And third, I wish there was a musical about me on Broadway. Oh! Well, Phil, dreams can come true. <laughs> Carrie White, Alexandria, Carrie White. <laughs> Carrie, put your paw in my bowl. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> we are in such a fight now, guys. Okay, your question, Carrie, comes from Cheetah Rivera. <laughs> She wants to know, Carrie, if you want two tickets to Hamilton, who would you take with you as your date? Well, I'd really, really like to take Tommy Ross, but I'd probably have to pick my mom because I think she'd be really mad if I didn't take her. Carrie White, everyone. Let's welcome Simba, 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 and Sasu. The Simbets. Yeah. Oh, oh, I don't know where I belong in this. Okay. I'll be there. All right. Brian Stokes Mitchell. We were just saying in the wings before we came out here that we were so stoked we were Brian Stokes Mitchell. But not possibly. Brian Stokes Mitchell asks if you could go anywhere in the world, where would it be? Simba? Of course, Africa. Yeah. Well, since we're always in Africa, I would say Antarctica for the change of the sea. That would be unexpected. Not the elephant graveyard. I'd stay near Pine Rock. Attica, no. <laughs> Great! <laughs> well, if I left Africa, Simba would turn the whole country to shreds. 
Fair play, thank you, Pride. Next, Sterling, our playbill goddess. Come on. Tell us who this question is from. Audra McDonald. Audra McDonald would like to know, Sterling, if you were stuck on an island and could only bring three things, what would they be? I'm you better say your mother. <laughs> my mother, of course, so that I could look fabulous every day on my island. I would have to bring all my Playbill collection. I, I mean, I need something to read, right? Absolutely. <laughs> And any Broadway star that's willing to join me. <laughs> and we love the McDonald will join you. Fantastic. Well done, Sterling. Thanks, Bob. Squidward! Squidward, put your tentacle <laughs> and pull. You can't be taught. Bernadette Peters wants to know, Squidward. If you were a color, what color would you be, Squidward, and why? I'd be blue. <laughs> why? Because I'm a loser. Oh. I'm not a loser anymore. I'm a loser. <laughs> they do not like me at all. <laughs> Squidward, ladies and gents. That's it. Give it up for all of our ten finalists. All right. This is where the judges have to do some very serious, heavy lifting. Now, let's go down here, and I'm inspired by the music that we just enjoyed from Squidward. Who's willing to give us a little musical moment from the show that they're representing? <laughs> Got really quiet. That's fine. Yeah, are you ready? Come here. Right. Ladies and gentlemen, Lucas Steele.
right. Huh? You made determinations? Absolutely. So let's talk about these, how you got to these determinations. Esteemed judges. Should we start well, with you, Mary Testa? You did a, a spectacular job. You're also <laughs> wonderfully committed and funny and delightful. And we thank you so much for coming today. It was very hard for us to determine these uh, spectacular winners. Right? It's incredibly hard. Sierra, what are your thoughts? What, uh, what drove your decision? Mm -hmm. uh, truly, I'm, I'm blown away by the creativity, especially, and the commitment, like I said. Um, so I think staying in character was like a really good that was, that was for me. They really got me. That takes it over the top, right? The, co yeah, the commitment yeah. to character makes it. Emily. You all are so creative and amazing, and what I'm also so impressed with by how much fun and how much joy you bring to all of this. I think that for so, so many of us, we love our jobs and we bring you know, so much fun, and to see how much you guys love this is awesome. Here, here. Agreed. I saw the passion. I felt the passion <laughs> that determined the things for me. Wonderful. He was looking for passion and he got passion. All right. Here we go. I will announce four runners up and a winner. And what uh and what do they get? Or what? Great, we had a we had a pre meeting. Oh, here it is. Our fourth runner up. Give me a deep drama drum roll on those nice people. It's the crew from the Great Comet! Congratulations, my friends. Our third runner up, Punk Satani Fan! Did not feel okay. Uh, second runner up, Sterling, our Playbill Goddess! Well done. Now, our judges have awarded a Miss Congeniality for the Cosplay Fashion Show, and should come as no surprise, Marty! Our next winner has an important duty to fulfill if the Broadway Con cosplay winner of 2018 is unable to carry out their duties. Like they take off their costume in 10 minutes, or they wash off their makeup, or... This cosplayer will assume the position of Grand Champion. Our first runner-up... The Dice Quiz! Here we go. The moment of truth. Broadway Con 2018. Pause play. Brand champion. Committed, passionate, in character. Thank you. 